Hey guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to play the fast lick from the introduction solo of Calling Elvis by Mark Knopfler. So uh, first I'm going to play it through to the best of my ability, see what it sounds like, and then I'll play it nice and slow, and then I'll break it down note for note and put a tab box right here. So let's get started. <laughs> So here's what it sounds like slowed down a lot. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to magically make the tab appear below. All right, so let's get started. Put your pinky finger on 10th fret of the high E string and you're going to do a pull off then you're going to go to the B string and do that same pull off from 10 to 7 so 10 to 7 10 to 7 then this next part is going to be keeping your index finger on the 7th fret barring these two is what I do so bar to 7th fret of B and E strings then strum 7th fret of high E you're going to strum 7th fret of high E, then pluck the 10th fret of the B string, pull off to 7 again, and then go to 9 of the G string. So, so far it sounds like. So, right after that, he does that kind of cool uh, lick where he goes outside of the pentatonic box for a little bit. He goes... So, what you're going to do for that is... Keeping your uh, index finger on the 7th fret still. And then put your ring finger on the 9th fret of the G string. And then slide up to 10. Then strum 7 again up here on the B string. Then you're going to slide back down from that 10th fret to 9. Then do a pull off to 7. And then pluck nine, uh, the 9th fret of the... So far, I'll put it all together, what we have so far. We're halfway through. From there, he pretty much just does a uh, progression down the pentatonic scale, where he kind of skips back and forth between notes. So what he'll do is pluck from uh, the ninth fret to the seventh fret, and then go to the ninth fret of the D string, and then pluck the 7th fret again on the G string. So Then he does that exact same pattern except on one string below. So take that whole shape, skip down a string, so now you're on the A and D, a and D string. And it goes... So this is what it sounds like up here. And this is what it sounds like down here. So... So, so far this is what we should have. going to do is take our index finger, put it on the 7th fret of the A string, and then do a series of hammer-ons up to the 8th fret and 9th fret. So. Then go to the 7th fret of the uh, D string, and then to the G string. And you can, you know, let this one ring out and sustain a little longer. And then the last part of the lick is just a hammer on from 7 to 9 on the D string. So that's pretty much it. I'll play it through really slow. So here we go. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions, just comment below. Um, and let me know what I can do better for next time. Uh, thanks a ton for watching, guys.